Hiya, hiya, hiya. So it's me again. And today, I actually wanted to do a gear overview of my entire account. Um, basically on my two mains, my CM in quotes, uh, spoilers if you didn't know already, and my DV. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this is because I haven't done one in a minute. And I still have a lot of recordings and I feel like it would be fun to show my gear first and then kind of give a timeline of how we got to this point in the first place. And I feel like it would be a good setup um, as to what I'm going to be doing going forward with the uh, DV endgame progression um, because I still want to continue doing that. Um, it's just over the past few months you know, the content that I've been making for the DB kind of is unenjoyable to watch, but I'll kind of shrink it and make it and clip it to where it's, you know, digestible and actually enjoyable. Um, there was this one point, one period of time where I spent 80 bill on CRA pants and got literally nothing. Um, but that's besides the point. Uh... That's pretty much going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Remember to like, comment, and sub, or I will literally eat your mesos faster than Star Forcing does. Thanks. Alright, so first and foremost, as you guys remember, the gear on my CM is mostly the same. You'll notice a key difference, um, mainly due to the fact that it's... Totally a cannoneer, you know, because cannoneers have the ability, uh, Howling Fist, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, I swapped this character to a buck. Um, once again, this character still continue, is gonna continue being a side project. And personally, I wasn't satisfied with the strength of cannoneer. Cannoneer is really weak nowadays. And maple, so I kind of just swapped it to a buccaneer. And my damage surprisingly hasn't dropped, even though I lost my Genesis weapon. For anybody curious, this is what the arcane knuckle looks like. And this is what my secondary looks like. Um, nothing really surprising. Um, the only things that have changed besides me literally being a buccaneer now is the fact that my arcane cape. Is now 22 so this character has full 22s I have a magic eye patch now and an endless terror at 22 so we are now four set pitched the potential on the ET is done so this ring is gonna be done for a while the eye patch still needs a little work and I made a small improvement on my guardian angel ring so now this is double prime um, but yeah just gonna quickly hover over the gear Two gold dooms and a dark doom. Legacy shenanigans. Finished Galax Ring. Finished ET. Very much finished Guardian Angel Ring. I'm waiting for New Age. Uh, I hate Oz. Uh, potential needs a little work. You'll notice a pattern with my account. It's very, it's very simple. I haven't gone to the point where I necessarily need to min-max potentials yet. Because I still need some work to do on my DB. Um, finished pendant. The flame could use a little work, but I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm just going to wait for pitch and eventually swap this out. Belt. Same thing here. Potential could use a little work. Same thing with the uh, the flame. That, that is pretty much done. It doesn't get better than this. It's good enough for Eternals. Twilight Mark. Pitched waiting room. Uh, potential and flame definitely need some work. This is not good at all. Uh, top is once again Eternal's waiting room. In New Age, this character is definitely going to be strong enough to tackle on Kalos. Maybe even Kaling. Kaling's a little ambitious, but you know, we'll get there eventually. Pants, same thing here. Boots, potential could use a little work. I feel like I could also improve the flame as well. 139 is definitely not that great, but... You know, we'll take what we can get. Android Heart. Uh, kinda just... 
going to be the same until I go for double primes, then it's probably going to be the first things that I shoot for. Gape, potential could use a little work, but the flame is really good on the on the cape. Uh, gloves, same thing here, flame is pretty solid. Uh, potential could use a little work, but when I finish my three lines. Shoulders done, nothing to worry about here. Earrings, yeah, the earrings could use a work, but once again, I'm just waiting for... Uh, for some pitched, because I personally don't feel like improving it. It's not worth my time. I'm already more than strong enough for the entire game. I'm still able to solo Black Mage on this character. Uh, 50 minute runs without like any sort of event buffs, which I think is pretty solid. Uh, Skull Armor, nothing special here. 7 a Monster Parker, still the same. Crystal Ventus and my Gold Maple Leaf Emblem is still the same. The reason why I'm not changing this to 3-line attack, which is so much more optimal for Buccaneer, because it doesn't need IED as much as Cannoneer does, is because this character is obviously more than strong enough for Saren with 260 sack. So I'm probably going to find a party for this character and eventually we'll replace the emblem and go for 3-line attack. Um, but yeah, Legion... Uh, 9.1k, so we're doing pretty solid in this regard. We're slowly and steadily progressing to 9.5. Eventually, like if we're talking about a year or two down in the future, I eventually plan to go for 10 and even 10.5k. Um, and familiars. My familiars still remain the same. 30% boss, 35% boss with healing, 6% attack, and I sometimes sub in a 30 IED with large healing. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the cannoneer, because it's totally a cannoneer. Um, yeah, uh, this character pretty much done. I've also got all of its drop gear to 22, so I realistically don't need to spend any more on this character. It's reaching its hard limit, unironically. The biggest gains I can make is Roar 4 and fixing its potentials, which personally is not something I'm necessarily interested in right now. And for anyone who is curious, my stat and damage gear with just Maple Warrior on and Roar 3 is 56k. I don't have Link skills on, nor do I have the correct Legion on, but, you know. Just assume that it's around 56 to 57k with a Roar on. Pretty solid, not gonna lie. Okay, so then we've got the Rising Star... The man on a mission, the number soon to be number one dual blade. Uh, the equips, this is what they're looking like right now. Still have all the legacy stuff. My equip tab here will look significantly different from what it did before. I've made a lot of changes on this character. I even liberated, that's how long it's been since I've posted a gear update on this character, but... Um, yeah. This character is pretty damn strong. It's about as strong as my buck. Strictly just because of the help of the Genesis Dagger. But this character also has a lot of room to improve as well. This character has the same issue that my buck does. Roar 3, not Roar 4. Weapon Jump 3, not Weapon Jump 4. So, starting with the totems... Too lazy to go for the... Uh, what is it called again? The Far East Totems? I forgot what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. The, the little kettle and the horseback doll. Um, then we have the Totem. Totem's like... Eh. 95. I was down like... 70 something flames by the time that this thing hit and I was forced to just stop for a second And by a second I mean literally forever uh, Yeah, getting on to the actual equips superior ring 27% once again, you'll notice that this trend continues a lot Honest treasure is done. I'm not gonna improve on this anymore because I'll probably get an ET to 22 by the time, you know, I eventually go for double prime on this. Guardian Angel Ring, same issue here, should be 33, but it's not. Let me just show that. 
Drawer 3. Book waiting room. I do pick up the cups from Pink Bean every week, but... You know, low odds that we actually do end up getting... A cup that's worth my time. Then we have a Daybreak Pendant. Flame is pretty okay. Potential is sad. Superior Pendant, same thing here. Flame and Potential are not good. Genesis Dagger. Okay, so this is what my Genesis Dagger looks like. I'm probably gonna have a short up on this because this was a really funny clip as to how I got the flame. Potential standard three line, of course. You know, I think it's only disrespectful if you, you know, if you don't go for three line on a Genesis weapon, considering that this is going to be the best weapon in the game for a while. Uh, ignore the soul. Uh, the soul is um, totally fantastic for my class. Next up, we have the Gallic Belt, Flame, and Pot Need Work. Same thing here. Now my hat. My hat is pretty much done until Eternals. Uh, negative four second with six all stat. Kind of lucked out on that. You know, it was uh, under like 20 something bill. And the flame is also pretty solid. Just because of the sheer amount of decks that it has. It actually pushes up the luck to at least like 68 to 70. Which makes this hat pretty solid. Twilight Mark, Flame, and Potential could use some work, but I might not even bother trying to improve this. Monocle, Flame, and Potential could use work. My top is probably done until Eternals. Pants, I might change the Potential, I might not. Flame is like okay though. My Arcane Umbra Boots, uh... 22. The potential could use some work. I think the flame is, is fine though. That's like about 100 stat and 5%, which is pretty solid for the time being. My heart. Not worrying about this until I go for double primes. My arcane cape is done. It doesn't get better than this for a while. Like maybe I could double prime and improve the flame like a little bit, but that's like super far into the end game. The gloves, uh, the flame and potential need work. Shoulder, potential needs a bit of work. Sweetwater Katara. Now, I'm thinking that I just go for nine lines of attack. I don't know how I feel about having 30% boss on my secondary. Especially with continuous ring on the horizon, I feel like having just nine lines of attack is you know, the most consistent way of being able to mesh with everything. So eventually I probably will change this to Katara to go for three line attack. But for now we have two line attack, one line boss. No double primes, nothing special here, but it's definitely serviceable. It's still really good. My earrings. Potential and flames could use work. Seven day monster Parker. My double prime Hakase badge. And three line attack on the emblem. In terms of arcane, we're maxed. And in terms of sacred, we are at 200, so we can do full damage to Saren. We are approaching 220 relatively soon. Odium's gonna be a minute before it levels up again, but this is definitely nice. It'll make my Castle Gate 4 farming better. If I were to push to uh, Captured Alley 4, I'd need to hit 230 Sacred. Or I'd have to improve the damage on my drop gear by a large amount. Because a lot of my drop gear is still 17. Um, of course, spending money on the damage gear, getting it to 22 is a big investment, right? So that's why a lot of these equips are still uh, low stars. Now, I probably should make note of this. This character is technically one set pitched, but the source of suffering when I was rolling cubes on it, the last cube actually hit 10 luck, 20 meso and 20 drop. 
So I kind of just kept it as drop gear because I don't have another piece of pitched. So it actually is only like a tiny bit better than the, than the daybreak if I were to actually equip it for damage. It's not going to be a significant gain until I get a second piece of pitched. So that's why I'm kind of just keeping this as is. Make the most of the potential before I roll off of it and eventually try to go for damage. This character also still has uh, Ghost Ship Exorcist. So eventually in the future, maybe down the line, I'll try going for like a 21 Hakusei. I might, I might take the easy way out and just settle for a 20 because three extra stars worth of stats is still pretty significant. It should be like 35 to like 40 stat that scales with percentages, which is pretty nice. Um, also, in terms of pitched, I do have a CFE and two Dreamy Belts waiting, so there could be a situation where if both of these go and we get another piece, I might be able to switch off of Golux early and go Force at Dawn and whatever else that fits in my inventory. What else? And then we also have one Arcane Glove and no shoulders. These two pieces, well, I haven't really tapped much of the shoulder, but the glove has not been going for as much as I want it to go. I think I've spent around 50, 50 bill on this glove. Granted, most of my tapping was off of end, so it's kind of within expectations that it doesn't go within that amount of money. But the cape and the boots went up pretty much instantly, so I'm kind of happy about these two. And the reason, and now that they're both 22, I can actually start to split my attention to just these two, right? I can split the attention evenly because now I've got one lucid piece and one will piece. And I've got around 100 droplets for both. I do have more lucid because I've been running on uh, lucid on this for a little longer, but... You know, I should be able to grab at least eight, eight or nine. I think it's eight spares. Eight spares for each, so. What I'm kind of just doing right now is saving up for an event. And then I'm going to tap these items. And even if I don't have the droplets to actually buy so that I can buy a piece for free, I'll just spend the five bill and I'll just tap again. And hopefully by the end of next event, whether it's a 30% or a 5, 10, 15, we're just at 22 and we can start focusing on min-maxing potentials and getting our drop gear up so that we can do more damage to mobs. In terms of fams, this character, uh, uh, we're, gonna, we're putting fams to the side for a minute. Fams will only come back into the question when my sixth job is maxed or approaching max, so this is not going to be done for a while, but... The first fam has 35 boss. Second fam is 40 IED and large drop. I kind of just keep this on at all times because it's useful in all situations. Granted, it doesn't give me too much damage, but it's just a nice to have. And then I have 5 attack. So eventually the goal is obviously to go for for 90% uh, boss. I do have a 35, so two 30s will actually put me at 95 instead of 90, but if I do hit like a 20 or like a you know 20 and then another 35, I'll probably just settle on that for a long while. But yeah. Legion, of course, you guys already saw. 9.1k, eventually gonna push for 10 and beyond. Not anywhere on my radar though, as of yet. And my stat with a roar goes to, drum roll please, 54k. I don't have my links on, so it's closer to 55, but this character is extremely stat inflated because of the badge. The totem, and you know, just the fact that I'm a DB, so I get like an extra 100 stat here. 
In terms of my damage, I definitely don't think I'm doing the damage of somebody who's 54k, especially considering that I have a lived dagger with... I mean, everything that... Pretty much everything that you want besides the soul. But of course, the two arcanes are some of the most important items to star because they end up giving 80 attack each. So with this and maybe some pitched, we'll probably see some large improvements on this character. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the DB. And I'll just sprinkle this on as a little bonus. This is what my account looks like as of right now. I have two characters that do up to sea slime, right? My two mains. And then I have three characters that can do up to N Lucid. Or E, e Lucid, not N Lucid, E Lucid and N Slime. I got them mixed up, so then I ended up saying N Lucid. Flash Fist, the Shadower, which has my name with a bunch of extra threes. And Regirain can do up to E Lucid. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Lomian mules. All of these characters can kill up to N Lomian in around 17 to 20 minutes. The N Slime mules or E Lucid mules take around 30 minutes, and each of my mains take around an hour and a half. So I spend around six hours bossing each week. And I make roughly around 23 bill mesos without any sort of farming, ursus, or external income. And that's pretty much it for the main characters on the account. For the most part, I'm kind of happy with my progression. I pretty much have two characters completed, so they can do everything up to Black Mage, and I'd say that they are relatively strong. But this is where the real the real work begins because min maxing and obviously getting the most stat is going to cost the most amount of meso as well, right? But that'll happen passively, of course. Every week, 23 bill is quite a bit. So going forward, all I need to do is worry about farming in New Age. So that's going to be my number one priority is maxing my DB6. Once my DB6 is maxed, then I'm probably going to split my time between maxing my buck sixth and getting my dual blade some familiars so that it's not gimped in that regard. The 40 IED familiar is obviously not that great. The 5 attack is also kind of bad. And if I were to get boss familiars instead, that would make the DB infinitely stronger. But yeah. Uh, if they introduce dynamic crystal pricings, I'll probably bring another character up to like the c 10 level, but for right now, I'm kind of okay with, with where I am right now. And eventually, I'm going to try going for 10 or 10.5k because I want to fill in that buff duration section. I do have lab and I do have 9.1k, which is already more than good enough for the entire game, but... That buff duration section looks really juicy, especially for DB. Having a longer AB for Blades of Destiny and Blade Tornado is going to make me do infinitely more damage. And having comfort on Final Cut is also a nice thing to have, which means that I can use my iframe more sparingly rather than I need to upkeep it for damage. Yeah, that'll be it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Remember to like, comment, and sub, or I will literally eat your mesos faster than Starforcing does. Thanks.